There is a type of calculation problem in A-level physics which is an extremely common mistake. So let me give you a couple of electrons as we can see that they are negative. So just say this one here is electron one, this here one here is electron two. Let's say that they're separated by, I don't know, two centimeters. Then let's add a third one which is also uh, around two centimeters away forming an equilateral triangle so this here is two centimeters and this one here is also two centimeters by definition then those angles will all be equal to 60 degrees my question is what is the net resultant force on electron 3 electron 3 will be repelled by electron 1 in this direction and it's going to experience a force of repulsion let's call it three due to one but it will also experience a repulsive force from this one in this direction let's call that force on three due to two looking at the symmetry of the system we can see that the horizontal components of these two forces will be equal and opposite and we do not need to worry about them. They will end up canceling out. The vertical components though will need to be added up and they're going to be exactly equal. Okay, well, if this angle here is 60, this makes this angle here 60, which is going to make those two being equal, adding up to 180. This here will be 60 as well, and this here will be 60 as well. The magnitude of F31 and F32 will actually be exactly the same, but let's just say that the vertical component of this will be F31 sine 60. This is just a subscript, and this one here will be F32. 2 sine of 60. Okay, so the total force that acts on this electron will then be this one times sine of 60. Well, what is the force going to be? Um, due to Coulomb's law, the force will be the magnitude of one charge, which is the electron charge, times the magnitude of the other charge. Divide that by 4 pi epsilon naught times the distance between them squared. Do not forget the square. So it's going to be 2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 squared. Multiply by sine of 60. The magnitude of this one will also be exactly the same. So this will be e times e, which is e squared over 4 pi epsilon naught, 2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 squared multiplied by sine of 60. We're going to get around 9.97 times 10 to the power of minus 25 newtons. While this is an example of a multi-step calculation, statistically most marks in A-level physics are actually lost in describe and explain questions. And this is precisely why you should have a look at this video next in which I've summarized lots of advice on how to score really well on those. Have a look over here.